Hey folks, Golden Gate Park, covering 1,017 acres, 50 square blocks in San Francisco, has something for everybody. Yes, there's dancing in the streets because we go to 10 of the best places and attractions in iconic Golden Gate Park. Our journey starts at the Victorian era Conservatory of Flowers with rare and unique plants. The second place we go is the Ancient Grove in Golden Gate Park. It's the oldest grove of trees in San Francisco. The third place we go is the Japanese Tea Garden. It's from the 1894 World's Fair. The fourth place we go is the Magical Carousel in Golden Gate Park. The fifth place is Stowe Lake, a family tradition for boating and refreshments. The sixth place we go is the Golden Gate Park Disc Golf Course. The seventh place we go is the Botanical Center. It's a 55-acre oasis in the city. The eighth place we go is the renowned De Young Museum and the Observation Tower. See if I can get all my fingers here. The ninth is Lindy's Swing Dance in the park. The tenth one is my favorite, the Disco skate park. Let's go. <laughs> Whether sunny or overcast, Conservatory of Flowers is iconic San Francisco. The Conservatory of Flowers was built in 1879. It's the oldest building in the park. People love to just grab a blanket, hang out, and chill on the grass outside the conservatory. Okay, this is kind of bizarre. They have noisemakers of crickets outside the building. This place only costs seven bucks, but on the first Tuesday of the month, it's free. The conservatory has five different plant lands to explore. It's called the Conservatory of Flowers, but there's literally a jungle inside. I did survive my exploration. I was not eaten by the carnivorous plant. Right behind the Conservatory of Flowers is these grove of old oak trees, the oldest trees in this park. These trees give a glimpse of what San Francisco Peninsula was like before it was transformed from the sand dune. In the late 1800s, other than sand dunes, this area had a few coastal oak trees. Check these gnarly trees out. They seem to be enchanted. Golden Gate Park's Japanese garden was originally constructed for the World Fair in 1894. It's one of the oldest parks in the US. The garden is a popular attraction, but it has serene paths, gardens, and ponds. It is a tea garden, and so there's a really cool place to have tea and overlook the garden. The drum bridge is pretty unique. If you don't want to climb it yourself, it's fun to watch other people. I like the calming nature of this, but it's time for some excitement now. The 1914 carousel at the Golden Gate Park is fun for old and young alike. Sometimes there's a line where you buy the tickets because they sell the food from the same line. No worries though, it goes fast. Families have been coming to Stowe Lake for generations. You can even bring your dog. Keeping up with the boathouse tradition, having a hot dog and a beer. This is one of three places in the park that sell beer. Not the Japanese garden, but check it out. Very peaceful. This man-made waterfall is peaceful more than thrilling. There's a little stairs that leads to the bridge that goes across the waterfall. Well, surprise, the waterfall goes even further up the hill. The Golden Gate Park Disc Golf Course is open to the public. It's an 18-hole, tightly wooded course. It's fun for beginners 
and a challenge for more expert people. Some of the regulars take their gear pretty seriously, but there's also normally free discs by the entrance sign. Or look out for flying frisbees. More than 9,000 plants live in this 55-acre botanical garden. Let's go check it out. Enjoy, learn, stretch, have fun, invigorate, renew. This oasis in the city is a living museum of plants. There's always something blooming. We were there at an enchanting time when the camellias were blooming. Whether you're a local or a tourist, it's good to visit the majestic redwood trees to get your feet firmly planted on the ground. The Fragrance Garden is a good place to try to make sense of things. The de Young Museum is a renowned art museum, but it also has an industrial looking tower where you can get panoramic views of San Francisco and the park. When you're entering the De Young Museum and you want to go to the free observation deck, head to the right. The De Young Museum has five different exhibits plus a special entry exhibit. To me, art provides a context to help interpret culture and history. That's why personally I like the American art from 18th to 20th century. This 1857 painting demonstrates the beginning of the Industrial Revolution when people needed to escape their normal lives to enjoy nature. For 25 years, Lindy in the Park on Sundays at noon has been a swing dance. <laughs> You can get lessons or you can just swing dance to the music. Disco dancing! Saturday and Sunday afternoons are big skating days at Golden Gate Park. Even if you can't skate, a lot of people like to watch. Here's your bonus tip. There's a free shuttle that runs through the park every 15 or 20 minutes. Hey folks, be fantastic. Appreciate your support. We'll see you next time at that place.